In step 7, the systems engineer wants to automatically create a system simulation model based on their system ML definition to verify the parameters defined in the product requirements. Furthermore, they want to connect sensor data from existing products to the simulation model in order to improve the overall system design based on real-time data. The systems engineer uses two apps from the SAP Intelligent Product Design to execute a system simulation. They will use the collaboration and systems engineering feature. To start the system modeling, the systems engineer clicks on the systems engineering tile. System modeling might, for example, involve changing some of the properties for the valve, maybe adding a pipe between two valves or adding an extra pump for the valve. To create or upload the model of the valve, the systems engineer starts by going to the repository explorer. Here, they can upload an XMI file. If they do this, the system converts it to a system ML file. Alternatively, they can create a system ML model from scratch. Since the systems engineer already has the model stored, they navigate to that model. In the My Collaborations app, users can create a collaboration to hold all the files and data for the simulation under the Shared Documents tab. Here the systems engineer creates a collaboration and calls it Evomix Simulation. They can upload the files to the simulation and add a workflow to create a simulation. The system engineer clicks on the model object assignments on the top right corner to assign the model of the Evomix to the collaboration. To assign the model, they select the model they want and click Assign. The systems engineer has the possibility to assign as many models as they wish, where the models are then linked to the given collaboration. The model can be used later when they are asked to select a model in the workflow task within the collaboration. The systems engineer navigates to the Work Items tab and creates a workflow to run the simulation of the Evomix model. They select the workflow called Simulation and names the workflow as the Evomix simulation. They also link the necessary simulation folder where the simulation results will be stored. By clicking on the Add, they trigger the workflow. To navigate to the inbox of the workflow, they select the icon on the top right and click on Go to My Inbox. In the My Inbox view, they select the model which they want to run the simulation on. After this, the task may be marked as complete. To view the results of the simulation, the systems engineer can navigate back to the Work Items tab and select the Task Completed Work Item. Here they can check the status of the simulation run by monitoring the comments. By navigating back to the Fury Launchpad, the systems engineer can open the app Equip Monitoring, where they can view a map that shows where their equipment is located. To monitor the Evomix valve, which is located in Germany, they select the pin located in Germany.
Here the systems engineer can monitor the charts of the Evomix valve. The charts display input sensor data from the Evomix valve. The model uses five input sensors including four valve openings and one mass flow rate as inputs. The chart on the left shows the opening of the main valve and the chart on the right shows the mass flow rate. In the output tab, the systems engineer can now view output calculated data for the valve, that is temperature and pressure values in the tank calculated by the Modelica model. This means that operators can monitor physical parameters such as pressure and temperature values in real time without needing to place actual sensors, and it's possible to define threshold values to get alerts on these parameters. As well as line charts showing a time series, they can choose other types of charts such as bar charts, frequency spectrums, spectrograms, and scatter plots. By using the app Situation Replay, the systems engineer can see alerts that have been raised for the Evomix valve, or any other equipment that had been maintained. The alerts shown in the app are based on predefined threshold values. If they look into the equipment column on the left, they can see that the alerts shown here are for the equipment Evomix Simulator Virtual. The alerts that have been raised are based on temperature and pressure values. Here they can define different severity levels for alerts, for example, medium or high. 110,440 PA is the threshold value that had been defined for pressure. Alerts relating to pressure are generated based on this value. On the right, they can see the date and time when the alert was generated. They can zoom in and out for the right side on the time series.